fun. We would love to have you next time it's run around. But we did all of that talk about Dr. Mario for absolutely Lucina? no reason. What? I'm sorry. Please don't take me off comms. I promise he plays <laughs> Doc. I mean, we saw the Dr. Mario plushie there, so maybe it's like a soulmate type thing. But of course, let's just go up the tier list at this point, Chippy. I mean, yeah, 86 I mean. characters in the game. Uh, you're about to have a you know a top tier in the pocket, but once again, like you called out already, Iceberg definitely not playing as quickly as I thought he would be, just like you said, but of course the one hit of the toe, or one hit of the Tim as I like to call it, into the F smash, not gonna be able to connect the down smash there. Okay, here we go though. He's playing a lot more confidently than I've usually seen, and he is playing a little bit slower than, um, th than, than a normal Yoshi would, like you said, but yeah. The Lucina is just throwing me off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, it's like I didn't know you had this in the pocket. Like, yeah. this is very new. But of course, it's doing good though. You said like, Angelo so doesn't come around too much. Probably when it's like the hyperbolic time chamber, oh, and then was yeah, spoken yeah, to true. like you need to drop Dr. Mario, Play a real <laughs> <Neil> character. character. <laughs> Back here, they're going to connect. Iceberg looking good so far. I mean, the percentages were rather close on that mm -hmm. first dog. So definitely not something that Angelo should feel too upset about. Definitely can bring it back. But that Yoshi down air, I find it so interesting that Yoshi down air actually props you up. Very odd. Oh, it's super weird. And it's it's a, such a good move because if you know that your opponent's going to be locking the shield for even a little bit, it's so much shield stun. Very, very but true. Great grab, by, though, by Angelo at this point. Just needs to find a KO option. Here's the problem with Lucina. I mean, we know this from playing the first couple months with Lucina, is that she kind of has Marthritis, right? Mm -hmm. Like, we'll get your opponent up to 150, then may struggle if you don't have, you know, a clear KO option yeah. to get the kill. And especially on a character like Yoshi that's going to live forever, might be a little bit more rough. It's the unfortunate double-edged sword of your kill options being very good, but also very obvious, where it's an opponent that has played against your character a decent amount knows what you're looking for. So you have to have that second layer of knowledge to be like, all right, I'm going to overshoot this aerial. Like, I'm going to go a little bit further this time around. And we see that with the full hop there. You're gonna, gonna be finally getting a sock with up air. Uh, but it's really hard because you're right. It's She's a character that just does have that Marthritis where it's like, you can't really seal the stock even though you have the disjoints. For sure, and Yoshi is a lot more reliable in getting the KO than Lucina is at all. Gonna be able to, of course, get the jab there, but I feel like Angelo really is just backing themselves into a corner. They're not really kind of confidently approaching and You know what, you're down at this point. You do have to approach. Oh, and Iceberg, who's, you know, like you said, more kind of prone to play a little bit more defensive, has no problem just yeah. waiting for Angelo to pick an option. Exactly, like this is his comfort zone. He's sitting right under that stadium platform or sitting right a little bit behind it, using that as a little bit of a shield for him from above and just comfortable chucking eggs horizontal. Like there's, there's no sense, no reason not to. He has a full stock, well not stock lead here, but a very convincing percent lead. Yep, for sure. Here we go though, Iceberg going for, of course, the up smash underneath the platform. Not gonna be able to find anything. I love the squat into the down tilt there, actually avoiding the sword here. But once again, you called it out, Chippy. Very defensive Yoshi, probably the most defensive Yoshi I've ever seen. Angelo does have Iceberg trapped on the platform a little bit, but once again, down are gonna come into the up tilt. Ooh. Oh, that should be. Yeah, he's I'm very. Surprised. He's just very safety first. It's like I'm not sure. even gonna go for the up. I'm not even gonna go for the upper. I think you're gonna be scared this time around, and then maybe air dodge for the up smash. It's like, I guess he's just comfortable playing his lead, and you know it's working out for him because 58 percent on iceberg in this game one. Four minutes left on the clock, and. Angelo doesn't really have too too much of an answer, except for 37% off of the grab. Yeah, 37% off of grab down air. Once again, down air has actually been kind of Iceberg's like MVP move here today, getting a lot of mileage off of it. I felt like in that last talk, we saw Iceberg kind of, once again, kind of like hesitate. We saw two up tilts. I, we easily could have saw up tilt, up smash. It definitely would have connected. Don't feel like Angelo is playing, you know, pressing second at this point. Once again, you're behind, you do have to come in. Iceberg though, gonna control center stage. Just say, hey, you know what? Come, into, come to the principal's office. I, I got something to tell you. Yeah. But really, Angelo just trying to pick an option here. Waits for the egg confirm at this point. Gonna have another egg hit, but you know, still passive. Unfortunately, F Smash not gonna be able to connect there. Yeah, not connecting there. I, I really think it comes down to Angelo just needing to realize in this game too, because I, I really think this is Iceberg's game to take with how confidently he is with playing slow. He needs to realize in this game too that like Iceberg's waiting a lot, and it 
feels like he's going to swing, but until he does, you need to act like he's just not going to press a button, because he isn't. He is, he's just waiting for you to panic or waiting for you to overcommit. Down tilt, not going to be able to take it. Going to try and go for the hard read on the fair here, but great get up Nair by Angelo at this point. Great grab as well, just following the DI. At this point, a back air, if it's not, of course, met with super armor, will KO. So I'm hoping that we're going to be able to see that iceberg just once again going to opt for some eggs. Fortunately, the back air didn't work, but of course, the Yoshi up air, so, so, so strong. strong. Yeah, he's just giving him a lot of time to set up his recovery, too, with the Yoshi eggs, like you're talking about. It's like, it, whenever you hit him on stage, it's like he's always throwing that egg upward. He's always just kind of, like, giving you an opportunity to get under him. And until you really, like, get under him and show, hey, like, you can't really stall your recovery here. Not even in the here. tail. Not yeah. even in the tail at all. Oh, yeah, that was a ridiculous hitbox. Yeah, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hello? <laughs> yeah, sure. This game, I still believe, was programmed by interns. Yeah, like, oh, of I, course. Yeah, baby's first game dev job. <laughs> like, Renai quit playing competitively to look, make this it's, game. It's, it's really the up. Yoshi foot. It's messed up what they did to my man. It's it's really the Yoshi foot that connected, funny enough, and it's not actually the tail itself. Interesting. All right, we're hearing the Yoshi. I just there saw it is. Holding Angela. Up the plushie. He held up the plushie to the crowd. Too. That's full of the buzz energy right there. That's he, some he's going anime pro tag. Full pro tag. My goat. My goat. My goat. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. here we go. Game number two. Let's see where we're gonna go. We are going back to PS2, which I think is a good stage, but I actually think this is a better stage for. Um, for Iceberg than it is for Angelo because, once again, we talked about why Town and City is really good, small sides, and also really high platforms. So if Iceberg were to get some of those up air chains, definitely would be living a little bit longer. We're going to see the Wild Wild West standoff of yeah. some projectiles for about the first 15 seconds of the game. Yeah, Welcome was, to Smash Ultimate. I was enthused by the competitive dodgeball that was going on, but unfortunately, uh, we are going to be getting into the match and not able to watch dodgeball. <laughs> so we're going to be going for... Right. Any sort of interaction right here is, is just kind of chip damage. But I feel like that's going to favor Iceberg, honestly. Like, I, I feel like getting Doc off stage is going to be really scary. And Yoshi has the double jump arm to get through uh, a lot of Doc's, like, fake combos. Very true. Going for the egg roll here. I once heard from a very wise uh, Suarez that if you egg roll, you totally meant to do it. Oh, and 100%. it totally wasn't a mistake. But, of course, down air. Going to connect here, Iceberg just trying to find a way in. I definitely feel like Angelo's coming a little bit more alive at this point. Definitely see them trying to poke a little bit more. Once again, there's such a big difference between your main and your secondary, but of course, going to be able to find the second up air, and that up air has been such a pain in Angelo's side so far. Yeah, it really has, and, and I feel like Angelo has like that little bit of like a patient play style too, and it's, you can see it in like his game plan with the pills too. But I, it just counteracts Iceberg just being like, all right, I'm gonna do that, but with a better character. Yeah, very true, very very true. Nice snare out though by Angelo, trying to go for the cyclone there, which definitely would have KO. Let's see if this back air will. Unfortunately, no oomph on Angelo either, so that one's not gonna be able to KO. I feel like if it was a little bit closer to the ledge, it might have actually also with the pummel. Yeah. But we're not going to be able to see him. He, he has to look for a landing. Like, Angelo just has to look for an unsafe landing because Iceberg's always using his double jump. Iceberg's always using his eggs to just stall in the air. But that just means great great catch, by the way, in the landing. He doesn't have those resources anymore, and I think that's what Angelo started to pick up on a little bit there. Is once you use your double jump, sure, you can use it to get out of a sticky spot, but if you wait for that double jump to come out, then they're just landing on you with no mix-up. Yep, very, very true. And now we're seeing Iceberg actually approach and picked some of these like options very masterfully. A lot of down tilt into up, up tilt as well. Going for the hard beat on the F smash, not gonna be able to find it. Angelo at 130, honestly, a back air will KO. A down air in mid percent will KO. But here we go, though Iceberg gonna opt to just throw some eggs. Angelo just can't respond at all. And that's just the limitations of this character. Ooh. Oh, yeah, trying to get the air dodge to ledge, but Iceberg just hard calling it out with the forward smash, and this is a very, very tough lead to come back on from a very, very patient Yoshi. Yep. So we'll see if Angelo can make something happen here, but the pills haven't been doing too much, so it really is up to him to just kind of realize here and now that you've got to run in. You've Ooh. It's terribly hard to a dock, but... I love this down air Wait, check what? chase. I have not seen that. He landed three down airs, one on... 
all three <laughs> different parts of stages. And Iceberg, somebody that you said is playing, you know, much more defensively, now putting on the Jets for real. Angelo luckily making it back there, but oh, the egg toss. Oh, I was expecting to see the up air, but the fair does just fine. Yeah, just fine. That's the scary thing about Campy Players Lyric is when they have that hot and cold play style of, I'm going to go from playing defensive to just, you know, I'm going to swing in you now. And you're not used to this. Like, nope. I'm going to go in. Yep. Very, very scary to deal with. But yeah, Iceberg going to be taking that one too. Oh, I feel like the Doc could have done like a bit more adaptation. Yep. I would have liked to see him start it, but super great stuff from him. I do think we have a couple of ads to actually run unrelated to that set. For so, sure. Uh, we let's, will get started with those. All right, let's talk about Mixed Masters, everybody. Happening on Saturday, March 